chiropractor, where do you hold your stress? <laughs> facts, facts on facts on facts. By the way, there's no way that those are the actual shoulders. I think there's some kind of device there. We turtle like this as humans. And as a result, a lot of people have very tight cervical paraspinal muscles as well as their traps. If this goes on for a very long period of time, we see like chronic changes in the spine there. Well, this person's taking a dirty fork to the patella, looks like to the quad tendon. Don't know why. Oh my God. Wait, what? <laughs> This isn't a human leg being opened because I've opened humans cadavers and this is not what they look like. They're not chalky on the inside. Here's this week's exercise to keep your brain nimble and build those super highways. Well, that's true. The brain does actually build super highways when you use it. Pinky, finger, switch them, switch them, switch them, switch them one more time. That's cool, but like you can just do activities that have a little bit more meaning than this. <laughs> Saw this kid doing a workout incorrectly. Yeah, I mean, not perfect form, but not terrible either. I've seen that machine be misused so many different ways. <laughs> like that. Okay, I do not know where this is going. Is this a Halloween costume? Well, okay. This is a family-friendly channel. Wait, she's taking selfies like this? Why is there other things inside the lips. It could be just a Halloween costume and we're judging it. If it's for any kind of medical utility, the answer is pretty much no. Unless it's for like some kind of endoscopy, upper endoscopy, then I'm speaking outside of my own comfort zone. Did you know that rubbing your fingernails together like this daily stimulates the brain to send signals to adult stem cells? Or it creates paronychia. <laughs> And paranicky are quite painful. Check them out. When I come home from work and use my next stretcher. I've seen this thing on TikTok and it looks so ridiculous. I can't imagine that it does anything, but I probably should try it once before I knock it. Just don't make any claims. Oh. Okay, it makes a guy moan when he comes home. I'm okay with that claim. Nice. Going to bed drunk be like. Oh yeah, the spins, baby. It actually can be quite dangerous if you are not awake enough to puke that you can end up having some of the vomit aspirate into your lungs and cause infection and inflammation. When people say someone dies of an overdose, a lot of times it's through this, aspirating their own vomit. I'm gonna show you how to reset your nervous system in 30 seconds. Wow, oh my God, it's like we're Windows PC. Put out your thumb, put out your other thumb and your pointer finger, and then you're going to apply pressure for 20 seconds like this, and it really works. It really does it. There's ways to actually stimulate one of the main nerves in your body that is responsible for parasympathetic tone, and that's your vagus nerve because it innervates your diaphragm. So if you're able to go into deep breathing, that can actually change the way your body is functioning with its parasympathetic drive. That works. We're playing everyone's favorite game this morning. You know it, you love it. Let's say the title together. Do I feel this way because of the new prescription I just started taking or because I ran out of my other two prescriptions? Oh, that's a problematic game. Here's a little hint. The winner is not me. Especially if you're on some mental health medications that if you come off abruptly, you can go into withdrawal. That can change how you feel very quickly, very uncomfortably. The German inventor Rebecca Weiss has invented the testicle bath, which uses ultrasound technology <laughs> to temporarily stop sperm mobility. Oh my God. You know, it's funny in med school, there was always a joke that if you spend X number of minutes in a hot tub with this temperature, you lose the ability to be fertile for that short period of time. And everyone made a joke like, oh, I'm gonna do that instead of using a condom. And no, it's silly and not accurate and we shouldn't do it. The best part is it only needs to be used once every couple months in order to prevent pregnancy. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I need to see the evidence before I start talking about bathing testicles for birth control. All right guys, let's talk about Natalia Dyer from Stranger Things. So if I was Natalia's injector, this is what I would do. Are we really judging their face and then saying what we're going to do to their face? I mean, this is messed up. Like you're basically saying everything wrong with this person's face. Like talk about giving someone a complex. I have a feeling after seeing this video, this person's gonna go on and do the same thing about me and be like, his face is unsalvageable. All right, let's see what the final product would give us. Oh, did she um, face All right, how do we like my Photoshop skills? <laughs> When you go see a plastic surgeon, there should be a conversation about body dysmorphia before you undergo certain things. But it seems like this provider is just pushing treatment on people who don't even want it. Somebody lose their dog. Oh my God. <laughs> that does look like my dog. Bear, come here, you have a friend here. I heard you're supposed to make them aware of your surroundings. Like if this was a black bear, I would say, hi black bear, come up. I'm aware of my surroundings. Please don't lick my face. Are you a black bear or brown bear? Your breath smells like fish. 
Oh my God, is it a chest compressions kit? Oh my God, I need to see it, is it good? Yo, those are good chest compressions. Yo, those are two inches deep, good rhythm. That's better than a human can probably do. But I will say, where that machine probably won't work is 99% of all chest compression times when you need to chest compress. Because chest compressions happen at home, on the street, where you find people down. And that's where hands-only CPR really needs to happen. And guess what? Most people aren't carrying that in their back pocket. A baby getting a Q-tip better not be going in the ear. What? Okay. What did I just witness here? That was the freakiest thing ever. Okay, that doesn't happen. Just saying, this is not a natural reflex. There are all sorts of reflexes that babies do, which are actually kind of adorable. If you've ever seen like the startle reflex, if you were to fake drop a baby, the baby like naturally reaches out to try and save themselves. We check these things. Rob McElhenney, can you please tell me how in the hell you got so ripped putting us all into shame after that transformation. What you're gonna need to do is you have a chef, right? Like, like a personal chef. So make sure the chef uh, makes you a lot of chicken breast and make sure you keep your caloric intake at a certain level. And as you go to your physician two to three times a week, just to monitor all your testosterone levels. You don't need to see your doctor multiple times a week to check anything unless you actively have a serious problem. I can't remember the last time I needed to see a patient multiple times in a week. You also don't need to swear off food, but yeah, I get what he's saying. Like to get an extreme look in your body will take extreme steps. And that's not always healthy. We look at people who have ripped six packs and we assume that they're extremely healthy. That's not always the case. Sometimes that comes at the cost of their mental health, which makes it tremendously unhealthy. Okay, a little adductor work never hurt nobody. Adductors are commonly strained with exercise, so you do need to strengthen them and stretch them. I don't know why it needs to be in this room and in this position and in this outfit, but to each their own. So when I first lost my leg, it was absolutely mind blowing to me how hungry I was every second of every day, especially when I started using my prosthetic, learning how to walk again. Well, you definitely will be using more energy to adapt in, in the short term. Also, if you just got out of a surgery, you're also gonna need more calories to heal because that's a, a metabolic demand on your body. Especially as an amputee was the gift of being pretty mobile and pretty active. I am hungry all of the time. If a patient is overly hungry all of the time, like a year or two post-surgery, that is a potential reason to do a further workup. You know, we're talking about thyroid levels, cholesterol levels, sugar levels, etc. Because there are conditions that can present themselves with feeling hungry all the time. This is day 292 of walking on all fours every day. Our bodies weren't made for this, so you're gonna have extreme, extreme agony in your low back. Length of your arms, length of your legs, the muscle position, the muscles insertions, the spinal cord, it's not meant for this type of walking. We're meant to walk upright. So while this could be a cool exercise, I wouldn't recommend this. Next time you eat, pay attention if your nose starts to run. Your nose can start to run if you're having an allergic reaction, if you're experiencing a viral illness, if you get increased circulation to your nasal mucosa. If you're eating and your nose starts to run, stop eating. If I eat something that's not good for me, my nose runs. If I right now have a little bit of spicy sauce, my nose is going to run. Spicy sauce is not necessarily bad for you. And if I had a tiny bit of it, that also doesn't mean I'm full. So your thing just got debunked on face value. Sorry to say. What color were my eyes? Oh, before? wow. You can still, you can still I've see heard it. of this. Depositing ink. Medical intervention, even if it's for cosmetic purposes, should be eliminated at all costs. So many things can go wrong. And then good luck figuring out if you have a medical condition after that. And again, like, I want you to express yourself, but I want you to express yourself without putting yourself at risk. Okay, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. If anyone sends me this to the P.O. box that I have listed in my description down below, I will be very shocked. You're looking at the face of someone who hasn't eaten cooked food in almost five years. Cooked food is a compromise. It makes us sick and we don't know it. No, my guy, I've seen patients in hospital settings where they can't cook their foods and they have horrible illnesses. They lose their lives, children lose their lives. Why? Contaminated water and contaminated food because they can't cook them. So from all the privilege that we have from having all these clean foods, there's many places in the world where clean food's not an option. So let's be reasonable here. If we just eat raw food only, it'll reverse all of our health issues, make us- Reverse them, we'll live forever just ah! so you know how you go to the gym yeah you do your workouts you do your abs well sometimes it's usually in the morning middle of the day whatever well i usually do it at night you're doing it wrong why guys do your abs before bed i do do that but why? For eight hours, when you sleep, you don't drink, you don't eat, meaning your stomach does not expand. Okay. So those muscles you just worked on, 
work 10 times better than when you usually just eat right after a workout. Okay, the logic is that because your stomach is not expanding, your abdominal muscles, which is separate from your stomach muscles, stay flat. How does that mean that they work harder? Once you stop doing the abdominal workout, the repair begins. It doesn't matter what's going on in your stomach. And doing abs has nothing to do with fat. Just putting that out there as well. I work in supplement industry and I see a lot of companies actually make up terms to sound legit so you can pay more, but those terms actually have no meanings. Yeah, that's literally everything. <laughs> everything in the supplement industry does not need to be proven. Unless they make a claim and then they actually hurt somebody, then the FDA starts to step in and act on it. Actually, I don't think the team in the FDA, I think the FTC starts acting on it. First, if they say they're tested by FDA approved laboratory, don't believe them because FDA does not approve any laboratories. What, no, what they say is an FDA approved facility where other things are made. <laughs> like when we did our bad doctor thing, we said, it's an FDA approved building and there's a rental space next door. Second, if they say they are third party tested without telling you which third party, chances are they are not third parties tested. Or they're tested, but the third party is their bro. Contains clinically tested ingredients. All ingredients in life pretty much have been clinically tested. That means nothing. Those are just words. Last, if they say they're pharmaceutical grade. That's the best. When they start calling their supplements nutraceuticals, because they're like, it's like almost pharmaceutical, our supplements. If you sell supplements only to doctors, you're doing it strictly to give yourself that that label, not because there's any restriction for you to sell them general to the public. When you forget oh, to no. change your son. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so do you know that your feet prune as a way to give you better stability inside a moist environment? It's not just like a physical response, it's an actual neurological response. Oh my God, bro. There's also probably a, a fungal <laughs> component there if you don't change your socks in the field, because that's gonna trap moisture, darkness, all that stuff that creates a good housing environment for the fun guy in your life. This is to anyone thinking of getting freckles tattooed on their face. Wow. Don't. It's interesting. People without freckles get freckles tattooed on them. People with freckles pay for miracle serums to remove the freckles. The grass isn't greener. I'm telling you this. So they call this the one minute health check. All you gotta do is take a spoon and Don't rub it tell all over me. your tongue. And then place it under some light for about a minute. And you're technically healthy if you pick back up the spoon and it's clean, no blotches or odor. But if it does smell kind of sharp, there could be an issue with your stomach. Hold up, wait a minute. People look to you and they trust your content and then you make stuff like this, which is just so obviously wrong. All I can't watch Dr. this. Spoon. No, no, no hail Dr. Spoon. Maybe that was comedy and I'm judging it harshly for no reason. So I reserve because I don't know what happens on TikTok, but clearly misinformation there. And I hope it gets demonetized, taken down, whatever they do on TikTok. Draw my life videos, they're back, baby. Here's my story coming to America, full animation, very fun. Check it out. And as always, stay happy and healthy.